What's up guys, I'm here with another video on to episode 150 of Let's Build the City. Today we're building a Dairy Queen. Let's build a Dairy Queen. Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a Dairy Queen. I've had so many requests to make this, and I've been putting it off for so long that I'm hoping that you guys actually do enjoy this, and I hope that I've done a good job in making it. We don't actually have Dairy Queen over here in the UK, so I hope that I've done it justice for you guys. If you do enjoy the build, please do remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that. Would it be impossible, guys, to reach 1,000 likes on this? I know it's asking a lot, but I'd really appreciate it. Could we hit 1,000 likes? And also, please, do leave your suggestions down below there in the comments. Is there another fast food chain or a specific type of building that you'd like to see? Let me know down there in the comment section. But without any further ado, why don't I actually show you how to make this thing? It's so easy. So if you want to make it, here's what you'll need. Grab me some. Some terracotta, some white concrete, red concrete, orange concrete. Black concrete, black stained glass paint. Open the doors. Put slabs and some quartz stairs. We also need some dark oak vents, red carpet, black grey concrete, stone brick slabs and some stone slabs. And that is literally just about everything. So once you have all of that stuff, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be making mine right about here. Well, we're going to begin with this sequence of blocks in a row on the floor. So we want to do two white concrete, one, two, three terracotta, one, two, three, two white, one, two, three terracotta, one, two, three. We want to do two white concrete, then a black concrete, go up by two, one, two, Right, by two, one, two, go down to the ground, go right of the block that hit the ground by seven using the terracotta, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, seven, then place two white concrete, one, two, three terracotta, one, two, three, then two white concrete, one, two, take a sideways view of what you just made. You then want to go right of the white concrete by one. Place three terracotta, one, two, three. Two white, one, two. Three terracotta, one, two, three. Two white, one, two. Place a terracotta. Extend it towards you by one block. Go right by one of the black stained glass. Place a black concrete. Go up by two, one, two. Right by two, one, two. Hit the ground. Go right of the block that hit the ground by one, the black stained glass paint. Place a terracotta. Go behind it by one. Place two white concrete going right. One, two. Then six terracotta. One, two, three, four, five, six. We then want to place a row of two white concrete going right of that. One, two. Take that second white concrete and extend it across the back of the build. The goal is that we would be able to connect it to the front of the build, although we're not going to yet because we now want to come to the front of the build. And we want to take the very first white concrete that we placed. This is the very first one, ladies and gentlemen. And moving towards the back of the restaurant, we want to place one white concrete, three terracotta, two white, Three terracotta, one, two, three. And then the rest wants to be white concrete moving towards the back of the building. 
which will give us a very specific layout and it'll actually end up looking a little something like this. So that's what we want to have, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move on to the next bit because this is where we're going to add all of the detail. So, where we have this row of seven terracotta on the very front of our bill, well, we want to Hello, unlimited player. Welcome to live stream. This row of seven. You want to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Hello, Briar Gaming. Welcome to our stream. Hopefully, I said your name correctly. We want to take this big chunk of terracotta and we want to extend it one row backwards. So, one row back into the building, we want to extend it back. <coughs> we're going to stop there. We're also going to extend it one row forward once we've finished extending it back. So, we've extended it backwards now. We now want to come to the front and we want to extend it coming out of the front. This is going to be nice and 3D now, and this is where we are going you to You totally place did. Okay, thanks. We are also going to be placing the Dairy Queen logo, which is essentially just a D and a Q in a red circle. But what we also want to do is one row above and logo, which is essentially just a D and a Q in a red circle. But what we also want to do is one row above and outside of the terracotta, we want to place a layer of water slabs that goes all the way around the top of our terracotta. So quite literally, one row above and outside of the terracotta, place a ring of quartz slab, like that. Now, you want to, leaving a gap of one from the top of the row terracotta, you want to, on the second row down, Extend the five middle blocks outwards using your red, uh, using your red concrete. So the five middle blocks basically be one either side. Then underneath this, we actually want to add another row of red concrete. Extend it left and right by one, and then add two additional rows underneath. One and two. Then underneath the five middle blocks, you want to extend them down once again. So you want to create a nice oval shape like this. This will allow us to place our letters. Take out your quartz slab and begin on the bottom left-hand side of the Dairy Queen logo. So right here, place a quartz Are you on PS? Go right yes. Go by one, do an upright diagonal. Go up by one, two, three. Do an up left diagonal. Black one and connect down to where you first started using. Go up by one, two, three. Do a black diagonal. Black one and connect down to where you first started using slabs. That is the letter D. On the bottom right hand side of the Dairy Queen logo, we want to place a sideways quartz stairs in this position. We want to go left of that stairs by one using the quartz slabs. Do an upper left diagonal, go up by three, one, two, and three. Do an upper right diagonal, bottom right, go down to connect. And that is it. Do an upper left diagonal, go up by three, one, two, and three. Do an upper right diagonal, Bottom right, go down to connect. And that is a Q. That is very simply the Dairy Queen logo. Nice and simple. So, and once you've got that sorted out, ladies and gentlemen, we're actually going to move on to the right-hand side of the restaurant now, because we have to do a very similar thing. So, on the right-hand side of the restaurant, we have this door, and we have a terracotta surrounding it. Well, on top of each one of these terracottas, we want to stack a row of 14 terracotta, like we did before. So that's going to be one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Just like the opposite side. 
and we want to extend up every single tarot card that we have right here until they are as high as the original row. And I'm just going to connect them together at the top just to make sure that I have indeed got them all the right sides. And I'll tell you something else that we're going to do as well is we want to extend all of this one row inwards. So just as we did on the front of the build, we want to have one row coming inwards as well. So like this, it looks like a giant archway. Left and right of the door, and um, this is where the door is, I'm just going to place it. Hello Lord, welcome to live stream. Have glass running up the side of the door, like that. Have a row of... Left and right of the door, and um, this is where the door is, I'm just going to place an open door in there. You want to have glass running up the side of the door, like that. Have a row of red concrete above the glass and the door. Extend that towards you and place an additional row on top of the original row. So we want to have something which should look like that. That is quite simply the entrance on the side. We then want to have rows of terracotta coming upwards, like this, just up above the door to fill in this shape. Just like that. We want to place a layer of quartz slab that goes all the way around the top and outside of this particular part of Dairy Queen, so it wants to go all the way around the top and outside, just as we did on the front, you guys notice in the pattern here, whatever goes on the front usually goes on around here as well, like that. And it's the top filled in, it is. So what we're now going to do is we're going to do the logo on this side too. So we want to come all the way up to the top here where we have this row of terracotta. We're going to move one more row down, and we're going to take the five middle blocks, and we're going to place red concrete in front of them. That leaves one either side. We're going to place a row underneath, and extend it left and right. Then we're going to add two more rows, one, and then that'll be two. And then a final row underneath, one row shorter than the previous. Now, let's place our D and our Q. So, on the left-hand side, the lower left-hand side, we're going to place a quartz slab in this position. Right by one, up right diagonal, up by three, one, two, and three. Up left diagonal, left one, and then we're going to connect down like this to form a D. On the lower right-hand side, we want to place a sideways quartz stair in this position. We then want to go left of that sideways stairs with the quartz slab by one, up left diagonal, up by three, one, two, and three. We're then going to do an up right diagonal, one right diagonal, then we're going to go down until we connect, and that will give us our Q. D, Q. Dairy Queen. Now, once you have that sorted out, ladies and gentlemen, we can move on to the next bit. So, this next bit is not particularly fun, but it doesn't have to be a dermot. That should really be a catchphrase of mine. I like that. It's kind of catchy. Every single white concrete that we have on the bottom of the build has to be raised up by five rows. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, just like that, yeah? And we want to do that absolutely everywhere. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And you guys have guessed it. We want to do that absolutely everywhere. It is one of the more tedious parts of this particular tutorial, but one, two, three, four, five. But it does have to be done. So that means literally every single white, every single one of them, there's quite a few as you guys might have gathered. We want to raise all of these up and we want to basically just create some nice solid walls. You see, what we could do is we could have placed windows first. We could have added the glass and the red concrete, but in doing that, the glass has nothing to grip onto, which is a big problem for me because I am clumsy and I, and I cannot, for the life of me, place glass paint without any level of difficulty. Every single time I place it, it is difficult for me to do. I know, there's something wrong with me, but hopefully, hopefully this makes it a little bit easier. But, I mean, we, we've done a decent amount of the restaurant right now, okay? I mean, we've done, like, what, half of it at the very least. So, we have, let me take a look, how, how far have we got? We've done, we've done most of the front, 
yeah, we're over halfway, so we just have to focus on raising up all of this white, uh, white concrete, and then we'll do the windows. And then we have the upper half of the restaurant to do, and then we're done. One, two, three, four, five. I just had to count that out because I don't really have any rows around here to compare it to. That's the best thing to do, by the way, rather than count it out a bajillion, million, gazillion times over and over again, is to simply just compare it to a previous row that you know is right. And now that we have all of these rows of five going all the way around our restaurant, let me show you what you do to every single window. And th this is literally every single window right here, okay? You want to, on top of the rows of terracotta, you have loads of them everywhere, you want to place two rows of glass, one, two, two rows of red concrete, one, two, and you will extend that first row towards you by one row. That's it. If you like, you can also preemptively place the white concrete on top of the window. That's all you have to do every single time. So two rows of glass, that'll be one row, and we're doing two rows now. We want to place two rows of red concrete, a row of white, to hit that first row extending towards you. No matter the size of the window, it doesn't matter where it is, no matter the size of the window, you want to do the same thing every single time. It, it couldn't get too much easier, actually. It's a, a very simple window to replicate and copy, and it also looks quite good, if I do say so myself. So, there's a few different methods that you might want to employ here. You may feel as though you want to add all of the glass first to um, each bit of... Oh, no. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. You might feel as though that you want to apply all of the glass first to the windows. That's a completely valid way of doing things and move your way around, do it one step at a time. You might feel as though that you kind of want to do what I'm sort of doing, which is kind of like build each window individually as we go around. That works as well. Or you might find that you kind of want to just make up something completely different. Whatever pattern you find is easiest for you to do it in, whatever you find the most simple, whatever takes the least amount of time, more importantly, is what I would suggest doing when you've got to do these sort of tasks where it's like the same thing over and over and over again, because it does get a little bit crazy, uh, or at least I get a little bit crazy, I don't know if this does, I get a little bit crazy when I'm just like repeating the same thing over and over again, but it's not too bad because I'm crazy. Uh, you find the most simple, whatever takes the least amount of time, more importantly, is what I would suggest doing when you've got to do these sort of tasks where it's like the same thing over and over and over again, because it just get a little bit crazy, uh, or at least I get a little bit crazy, I don't know if this does, I get a little bit crazy when I'm just like repeating the same thing over and over again, but it's not too bad because I, I, I've still got my sanity and we filled in all the windows. Um, by the way, also a small detail, above the door, the front door, which is this one, we're going to place an open door there. We want to place two rows of red concrete, one, two, with a row of white concrete on top, and once again we'll extend the first row towards us by one, so just like that. We're also going to place a row of black concrete above and outside of the row of white concrete that we have on top of the restaurant. So. This row of black concrete, like I said, it is one row above and outside the top of the restaurant. It'll be very obvious to you what you have to do, if not by instruction, by actually looking at what I'm doing. It's really, really simple stuff. You guys will manage it. It won't, uh, it won't take uh, any trouble to do whatsoever, but just like that, just all the way around, it wants to connect to the terracotta, move straight through it like it's not even there, and it wants to join all the way back up to the start of the restaurant. Looks very nice like that, but I'll tell you what looks even nicer. Three rows of orange concrete above and inside of the black concrete. So one row, one row above and one row inside, three rows of orange going all the way around the top of the restaurant. So once again, we've reached one of those pivotal points in the tutorial where it is a tad bit tedious. It's not that fun to do this part, honestly, but you'll see the difference once you've done it. It will be night and day. Once you've done this, you'll be like, oh wow, that looks so much better. And I'll tell you what, I might actually do um, these parts, I might do these parts individually. As a matter of fact, I just this part, this, this part in the corner, I'm going to do individually because it's a bit of a hassle to kind of like move through the terracotta 
every time. So now that that parts, then I can just move to here. And if you, if you guys kind of get me, I'm going to like move in a sweeping row, a, a sweeping motion, rotating around the building. So now I can just go all the way to that side of the tarot card and then move backwards, kind of like a typewriter, I guess. And uh, yeah, that'll, that'll work nicely. And then all we'll have to do is we'll just have to fill the top of this in. And if you guys like, it's completely up to you whether or not you want to do the outside bit. You might have different plans. You might be placing it in a city or a town or wherever you might be wanting to place this. And you might have some specific plans of the layout of the outside. But I'll show you a very simple layout that looks nice and clean and enhances the building just a little bit. But that is what we want to have so far. You can see that we've got a nice portion of this build already that's looking great. All you have to do is fill it in using your orange concrete that's all you gotta do and by the way next to a mcdonald's in the i already did a mcdonald's live stream before i already did a mcdonald's live stream i already built a mcdonald's on the right hand side of the build you'll see that the upper half of it pokes out of the top of the bun to not get her back to it so just fill it in with uh with tarot cards you'll to do that, no oh. So I'm just going to yeah, I I did. I made like a little bit. I've made tons of McDonald's some um, on the series. I think I like I built three different ones. But you'll see tomorrow's build. I've already confirmed it. Is I kind of like to shrink it by placing rows and rows of like say orange concrete or whatever. I like to like place rows inside and inside and inside and inside like that. I'll, I'll show you. You'll kind of see what I mean, like spiraling around the inside. And uh, it's, it's sometimes a little bit uh, a little bit more tolerable than just. Oh, like, this colour is hurting my eyes. Right, if that makes sense. I don't know whether. You, does anybody else do this? Like, if you've got to fill in something massive, do you kind of just go around with, like, do you kind of, like, make up little games and stuff to, uh, and little ways and little tricks that you can use to kind of, like, break up the monotony of just filling in, like, a big, giant, empty square of something? I don't know, maybe it's just me, who knows? But I, I kind of like to do, uh, little stuff like this. And it's kind of satisfying as well, because, like, when you look at it, you can see the shape slightly shrinking every single time. It's probably not the fastest way to do it, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do these things just to, just to, you know, kind of just do it. I will point out as well, um, always recommend it. Um, if I was actually going to be using this building, I would install some glass in the ceiling. So you could pick random segments of this. You could leave them open, like choose not to fill them in. You could place some quartz slab going around those individual segments, right? And then fill in the center. I've already finished well, finished the roof. Oh, that is my so eyes. To to I'm going to cover up all of the windows because I'm not going to be doing the interior for this thing. It's not in the original design. But bear in mind, it's always a nice little idea sometimes to just include um, a nice little bit of a natural light because it does make quite a lot of difference, especially if you, if that saves you placing loads and loads of torches. And I don't know, it's, it's kind of up to you, but you can see here that we're gradually shrinking this. It's, it probably really is like one of the least fastest ways to do this. But, uh, you know. <sighs> I hate these villagers. Wish they wouldn't have came here in my city. Get out. I'm having to kill these things because I'm building my Dairy Queen and I'm nearly done with it because I just need to um, need to do something with the door which is very cool. I'm going to add a little bit of black concrete as well around the door to make it a little bit better. Americans, this is for you. I'm currently blocking up the windows with a little bit of black concrete. Making it a little bit better.
kind of like what I like to do sometimes. I obviously build a lot of stuff, and I obviously design loads of stuff, and a lot of the time, um, you know, I've, I've, I obviously have to delete flaws and, and what have you. And this is sometimes what I just do. And then sometimes I get a little bit bored of that, and then I just do like the regular, like left to right sort of deal, especially when the shape has gotten a lot smaller. But, you know, whatever. Anyway. This is almost filled in, and what we'll be doing after this is we'll, we'll be adding some very small details, not, not too big at all, we'll be adding some very small details out front of our Dairy Queen. So we'll add a small seating area, which I think enhances the building, I think it makes it look a little bit nicer. We'll also be adding a bit of a path out in front of the building, and we'll be adding a couple of uh, bin, uh, trash cans, trash cans, you guys know, trash cans outside in front of the build, and we'll also be adding some fence. So, we're, you know, just a little bits of detail that don't take much time to do, but look great. So, uh, that is the side. That is our Dairy Queen. You can see it's looking quite fantastic. So let's add some details. So uh, to make a chair and a table and stuff, we need quartz stairs, quartz slats, dark oak vent, some red carpet. And to make bins, we need uh, light grey concrete, stomachs. Uh, to make a chair and a table and stuff, we need quartz stairs, quartz slats, dark oak vent, some red carpet. And to make bins, we need uh, light grey concrete, stomach slabs, and some stone slabs. So, out in front, the middle of dirt and carpet. And to make bins, we need uh, light grey concrete, stomach slabs, and some stone slabs. So, out Dairy Queen, we have this row of seven terracotta. Well, we want to take the very middle block and we want to place a quartz slab in front of the upper half of the middle block. We want to place two fence on top, we want to place a quartz slab left and right of the fence and in front and on top. You'll find that you can only place red carpet on top of the three outer blocks. We're going to add a chair made out of quartz stairs either side of this, and that is a nice little seating area that you can't actually use. <laughs> uh, we're going to add a bin on the right-hand side of our Dairy Queen. You can we're going to add a chair made out of quartz stairs either side of this, and that is a nice little seating area that you can't actually use. <laughs> Uh, we're going to add a bin on the right-hand side of our Dairy Queen. You can add additional ones if you want. Once again, this doesn't work, but light grey concrete, with a stem brick slab half the way up, looks kind of like a trash can, kind of like a bit. An alternate to this is a cauldron with a trap door on top of it that does look a bit more realistic, but that actually looks quite nice like that. So, out in front of Dairy Queen, we're going to take the front left-hand corner and we're going to dig around Dairy Queen. We're going to dig five rows coming out. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to dig in front of Dairy Queen. We're going to dig all the way over to the right, like this. All the way over to the right, and then we're going to dig three rows beyond the right hand side of the area. So that's one, two, three. And then we're just going to dig this out to the back right, all the way over to the right. We're going to dig five rows coming out. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to dig in front of Dairy Queen. We're going to dig all the way over to the right, like this. All the way over to the right. And then we're going to dig three rows beyond the right-hand side of Dairy Queen. So that's one, two, three. And then we're just going to dig this out to the back right-hand corner of the store, of the restaurant. And we're just going to fill this in with stone slabs. So this will be filled in with stone slabs. Uh, the entire thing will eventually be dug out. I'm not going to do it in, uh, in tutorial because, I mean, we've already spent enough time um, doing like little monotonous things and this is really an optional extra. But uh, all of this will be dug out in a moment. Place some stone slab. So I'm just going to dig out all of the grass because there's not much grass to dig out around Dairy Queen. Da 
on the title of the video I named it diary queen oh, well I don't know I, I don't know how to keep I don't really know how to spell dairy that much because I always keep mixing up diary not Greg Hefley diary of a wimpy girl <laughs> Um, I'm going to fill in the path with smooth stone. I'm not using slabs because they made smooth stone block four, five. So that's but. Okay, okay, there we go. Um, here as well. I haven't made Dairy Queen in my videos before, so it's the first time I make Dairy Queen. So I'm going to oak leaves all the way around the restaurant. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place a dark oak fence that kind of comes all the way in front of the restaurant. Now, it's only going to come to about like here where the door is. So I'm just going to place a little bit of fence that kind of comes all the way in front of the restaurant. Now, it's only going to come to about like here where the door is. So I'm just going to place a little bit of fence to kind of just set the scene. And you can see it just makes a nice little bit of a difference doing that. And I'm now going to just chip away all of the grass. And I'm going to place stone slabs in here. And I'll show you what it looks like. And I'll also black out the windows so that you can't see inside of Dairy Queen. And uh, it will look a bit nicer at that as well. So I'll be back in just a moment once I've dug out the floor. And you'll see what it looks like. And you'll decide whether or not you want to do this for yourself. So back in a moment. And this nearly done with Dairy Queen well I'm actually finished with Dairy Queen actually I'm really I'm absolutely done with it um I'm done it's finished Dairy Queen is finished all I have to do is add some road and everything will look so good oh there we go oh there we go oh there we go well, that's nice okay so make a car um no i don't think i'm gonna make a car in this live stream because I'm, I'm i'm going to end the video soon just going to get all these stuff out of my inventory Dairy Queen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me building a Dairy Queen. If you did guys enjoyed this video, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so don't miss the video from me. And I'll see you guys soon. Have a lovely day guys. Peace out.